Hi Brad from WordPress Sites. Uh, this this video is, is, a, is a five minute tutorial on how to like, host your own video. Uh, I'm making quite a few videos of these days because I think they complement the text on my blog post. People prefer videos. So th there's, there's the easy way to do it and then there's a hard way and then there's the there's a, there's a way where you can get a lot of traffic to your site rather than driving a lot of traffic to YouTube. So I, I really believe the best way to do it once you've made the videos is to host them on your own server and, and embed them in your own site. So you're driving the traffic to your own domain URL for that particular blog post or website page rather than drive traffic to YouTube. So I use um, a, a WordPress video plugin for, for Flow Player. Flow Player is free. I think it's one of the best free um, video software programs. I've written a blog post on how to install it. It's really, really simple how to install it. But I'll just show you, once you've made the video, depending, I don't know what you use for videos. I use um, Screener, which is a free uh, here it is here, it's a free five minute high, high definition, it's really easy to use, Camtasia apparently is the best, it's, it costs a few hundred dollars but I heard it's very very good and I'll probably grab that soon. But uh, once you've made the video, um, you can download the MP4 file which, the, which Screener will create or, or which Camtasia will create. Uh, or if you've uploaded it to YouTube, you can download an MP4 file from YouTube. And once you've got that MP4 file, you need to put that on your server. So I'll show you how to do that now. Here we are in cPanel uh, at my host. What you can do is you can use cPanel or you can use FTP. So uh, it doesn't really matter. I'll just click on File Manager now. We'll just create a, a directory, a, a new folder to put the video in. So I'll click on Public HTML. Uh, here I am here in, in second level. I've got my Flow Player there, which is my video player. Uh, create new folder. Just put it there. Uh, videos. Create new folder. And there we have it there, it's just sitting right there. And as soon as I download the MP4, I can just drag it across into there for it using FTP, or I can upload it here. Um, there's a 50 meg limit on, on, on cPanel uploads. So under 50 meg, I can just drag it and put it in there. And then I'll just need the address, uh, the URL, and I'll just, I'll just, I'll just uh, paste that tag into my, any page on my WordPress site. So that's really easy, you just create that new folder there, second level, and, uh, and that's that part done. Now I'm just waiting for the file to download, I'm downloading this from YouTube, um, it's 36 meg, it's, it's, it's pretty slow to download, so once that's done I'll just drag that across to that folder I've just created, um, or I'll just upload it in, in File Manager into my video folder that I just created. And then I use this plugin, which I've written a blog post about. It's just a Flow Player plugin, and it just creates a tag which you can put anywhere. I'll show it to you now. Here we are here, and once you've installed the Flow Player plugin, it creates a little left there, and you just click on that, and and, and it just creates a tag. Um, so your video will just show anywhere on your on your blog post or your or your website page. You just put in the URL to where the video is hosted. So I'll have to grab that once I drag it across to my, my video folder on the server, and I'll just put that in. You can also put a splash page, so you've got a special page at the front of it, and you can upload that to your your media library, and you grab the URL of that, and you put that in for your splash page as well. You'll find a link on this blog post, uh, the best WordPress video plugin and how to install it, Flow Play. I wrote this on the 17th of May. You'll find a link on this blog post uh, which will link to another blog post which will tell you why it's a, it's, it's a significantly better off for yourself to, to host your own videos and, uh, and submit a video sitemap to Google in the search engine. So you drive the traffic to your URL and not YouTube's. Once you've uploaded the MP4 to your server in the system and installed the plugin, the Flow Player plugin, it's just a matter of clicking on it and you just put in the URL to the address of where the, uh, the video is stored. So it'll be yourdomain.com slash video slash uh, the name of the video. You put that in here, the size of it, and uh, just click insert. And you'll come up with this and, uh, and there's your video done. If you get stuck at all, have a look on my site, wordpresssites.net, and I've just written a blog post about it. Cheers.